In English, didactics lesson planning will we'll start with reasons for planning. For teachers, a plan gives the lesson a framework and overall shape it is true that they may end up departing from it at some stage of the lesson. But it will sometimes fall back on. Good teachers are flexible and respond create, uh, creatively, or creatively, creatively to what happens in the classroom, but they also need to have thought ahead to have a destin destination which they want their students or, or to reach, want their students to reach and some ideas of how they are going to get there. In the classroom, a plan helps to remind teachers what they in intended or intended to do, especially if they get distracted or uh, momentarily forget what they had. Propsed. A purposeful action or proposal for action. Yeah. So I will repeat reasons for planning for teachers. A plan gives the lesson a framework and overall shape. It is true that they may end up departing for each at some stage of lesson but it will sometimes fall back on good teachers are flexible and respond creatively to what happens in the classroom but they also need to have thought ahead to have a destination which they want their students to reach and some areas or ideas of how they are going to get there. In the classroom, a plan helps to remind teachers what they intended to do, especially if they get distracted or momentarily forget what they had proposed. A proposed for action. Whatever lesson plans look like, they should never be charged of as interactions, but rather as proposals for action. We may have an idea of what the learning outcomes for the le lesson should, but we will only really watch those outcomes are once the lesson itself has finished. Good teachers need to be flexible enough to cope with and foresee events or problems. A good lesson plan contains a plan of coherence and variety. Coherence there must or there must be some connection between the parts of a lesson plan, coherent lesson, otherwise uh, incoherent lesson or uh, incoherent lesson, variety or variety, predictably or predictability, it if students know exactly what the they are likely to be less motivated than if their curiosity is or their curiosity is around the second is someness or sameness. Students may feel less enthusiastic or enthusiastic about today's lesson if it 
starts with exactly the same kinds of activity as yesterday lesson various activity not being as dull and or as that watcher after the lesson and before the next we need to blend future lessons on the basis of what happened in previous classes when we inv uh, evaluate lessons or activities we need to ask other uh, uh, other ourselves questions such as was the activity successful did the students enjoy it did they learn anything from it what exactly did they get from the activity how could or how could the activity be changed to make it more effective next time endless we ask ourselves such quest such questions we are in uh, danger of containing or containing, uh, containing with activities and techniques that either do not work or at the very last are not as successful as they may, might be with appropriate modification. Another way of evaluation lessons and activities activities is feedback from students we might ask them simple questions such as did you like that uh, exercises or exercise did you find it useful another way of getting uh, reactions to new techniques is to invite a college into the classroom and ask them to observe what happens and make suggestions afterwards. This kind of peer observation is most successful when both teachers discuss the content and practice of the lesson approach before and after the observation. Some teachers keep channels in which they record their thoughts about what happened as soon as possible after the lesson has finished. In that the way in that way they can read through their comments lecture and reflect on how they know, know felt about what happened so thank you guys for watching this video and see you uh, in the next video if god wants